Hello everybody, welcome to this edition of Mr. J's Geek Corner. So if we talk about anything and everything that is geek, whether it be TV, comics, movies, or video games. And um, this week I'm going to discuss something that you know, a lot of folks have definitely been thinking about. And um, that recently they've um, announced that DC, DC has announced recently it, it, um, that they've got a whole block, a, a whole slew of movies that's coming out between now and um 2020 and a lot of folks are saying and saying oh some of it's going to be justice league movies and green lantern versus flash team up movies and one uh, green lantern versus flash green lantern flash team up movies uh and, uh, and um, one being a shazam and we know it's probably gonna be a shazam movie also starring the rock in some way shape or form and um i've i figured the time was right to um to um, present with a list of movies that list of DC characters that I think are definitely deserving of their own movie, and I'm, um, I've got this. I've, I've had this list for a, compiled together for a while, and since they, they've um, put out this, I, th I put out this list of um, unnamed DC movies that's coming out in, in the near future. I figured the time was right to read off a list of the top 10 DC characters I believe deserve their own movie. And um, number when, um, number five on that list, start things off, is um, Aquaman. And I know how everybody out there um, somehow picks on Aquaman. And, oh, he's just the guy that talks to fish. Well, um... And, and I'm going to say that's one of the things that New 52 actually did right was actually make Aquaman look more like a threat and like make him look more threatening and more heroic and more powerful than he used to. But And while all the time looking like Aquaman we know and love so good. I mean, I would love to see a movie about King Arthur of Atlantis. Aquaman himself, Arthur Curry, whichever you want to name Aquaman. I would love to see an Aquaman movie and have him go up against a very legit threat. I mean, I've heard he's going to be in the Justice League movie. I heard he may even be in Batman vs. Superman. But, and then by on top of everybody else. But, I would love to see Aquaman actually in his own solo movie. Going up against like Ocean Master or somebody like that. I would love to see Aquaman in his own movie. I think he's truly deserving of his own movie. He's dangerous and underrated, and he really deserves his own movie. So they need they need to get they need to get chop chop with that right now. It's probably on their agenda, but who knows? If it ain't, it should be. And that's why he's number five on my list. Number four on my list is one that's had her own movie before, but it was as one newspaper review called it. A turkey that would not that could not fly, and that is none other than Supergirl. I mean, I've heard rumors that maybe they'll bring, somehow introduce her into the Superman in in there with somewhere with Superman in a future sequel or someone somehow and try to incorporate Kara zor into the Man of Steel continuity. And personally, I would love to see that. I really would love to see how they do that, how they do it, a concept of a of Superman's Kryptonian cousin. I would love to see that, and even in a solo movie, I would love to see her. They try, try to give her a solo movie and actually have it done right without um, crappy dialogue or um, uh, in a story and a horrible villain like they had in in the Helen Slater one. I mean, I would love to see them actually do Supergirl and have it done right. And have Superman, definitely have Superman be involved. I would love to see that. I truly would love to see Kara get a chance at the big screen again. I would really love to see it. And that's why she made number four on my list. And number three on my list ain't, ain't just one hero. It's a group of heroes. And I um, and that group is none other than the JSA, the Justice Society of America. I mean, you've got the Justice League. Why not have the one who inspired the Justice League, the Justice Society? I mean, it includes 
I mean, who who wouldn't want to see a movie starring, um, starring Hawkman and um, Doctor Fate and Star Spangled Kid or Star Girl, and uh, it's like starring Stripe um, and the Hawk Girl, and not to mention the Golden Age Green Lantern, Golden Age Flash. Who wouldn't want to see that, Mister Terrific? Who would not want to see a movie starring those? I mean, those 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 are some those are heroes that don't that other than Smallville has never really gotten any kind of live action love or adaptation. Other than Smallville, I mean, Smallville had definitely. Had, I mean, one of their best episodes was Absolute Justice, in which introduced introduced the first live action adaptation of the Justice Society, and it was done right. Particularly on TV budget, it was done right. I mean, say what you will about Smallville. To me. Smallville was a great show, and that was one of my favorite episodes. But I would really love to see them brought into a movie um, um, universe. I would love to see them brought into the immediate DC movie universe. And if they wanted to make it, almost make it into a DC multiverse, movie multiverse, that would be great and have them be the Earth 2 version. And have them be on Earth 2 like, they, like, we know that, like we've seen them in the comics. I would honestly love to see that happen. To me, Justice Society really hasn't been done in TV shows like that. I think it ought to be. I mean, you get a Justice League a lot. Why don't you get a Justice Society a lot? Hey, while you at it, throw in Superman. Throw in throw in the Earth Two Big Three: Superman, Earth Two Superman, Earth Two Batman, Earth Two um, Wonder Woman. Throw them in there. And I would love to see it. And a lot of other folks would love to see it too. And, and that's why it made it on my list. And on the subject of the JSA, number two on my list is probably what you might as well say on Smallville was portrayed as the leader of the JSA, and probably and definitely one of the founding members, um, Hawkman. Now, even if they don't make a Justice Society movie, I would love, just love to see a Hawkman movie. I mean, he's he's actually he is one of my favorite heroes, and I mean, and didn't get much love in the New Fifty Two, definitely. And he was one of the big titans in the um, pre Fifty Two universe. I, I mean, and the guy who they got to play him on Smallville did a right good job. I just hate they killed him off in season ten. <laughs> to me, suck. But um, they need, they truly need a movie version of Hawkman. I mean, I would love to see. I don't know much about Hawkman's history and everything, but I just know he's cool. I just know he's a cool hero, and I would love to see him and Hawk Girl go up against the villain, whatever whoever his villains are, other than the Shadow Thief. I would love to see him in action in live action again in a movie universe this time. I would love to see that. Truly love to see Hawkman, and. And lastly, number one on my list is one that me and my wife and a lot of other people have been hoping for over the years, been making fan films of and everything, and would love to see him introduced in the movie DC Universe, Lobo. I mean, what else can I say? <laughs> it's Lobo. I mean, who wouldn't want to see um, the last Zarnian, the one who killed his own people for a science project a high school science project annihilated his own people I can't remember if it was a science project I've heard science project I don't know if you said it was really a prank or what annihilated his own, annihilated the rest of the planet and is now the last of his kind I mean who won't want, who won't want to see that I mean it's like a Deadpool movie who won't want not want to see a movie about Lobo he's just cool not for kids, but cool, nonetheless. I mean, it would definitely be an R-rated DC movie, but I would love to see it. I really would love to see it. My wife would love to see it. So many Lobo fans are just crying to see it. They just want to see it so bad. And I would love to see Lobo given a chance on screen. I mean, they did a great job of portraying him on Superman animated series and in Justice League when he appeared. I mean, I, I'm a fan of Lobo. Matter of fact, when they had they had the um, there's a there's a uh, movie on there's a fan made movie on um, YouTube 
floating around YouTube from years ago called Lobo's Paramilitary Christmas. Go find it. Go look it up. It is very well done, true to the character. I'm going to definitely say it's not for kids, though. Don't let your kids see it. But it's definitely well done, straight to the character Lobo. It's done very, it's done, I'm going to say it's done, it's done how a fan would want to see it. I mean, it's true blue Lobo. And it's very well, well done. And I, I really like it. And um, I said, like I said, go find it. It's on YouTube, floating around YouTube somewhere. And um, I said, I said Lobo. That's why I think Lobo. He definitely deserves his own movie. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I love. I would love to see just. I mean, even if it's like, I mean, even though it was watered down, I love to. Like I said, I love the Super Man anime series version that voiced by Brad Garrett. It was just great, and I'd love to see Lobo in all of his R-rated glory. I would love to see it. I truly would love to see it. Well, um, what do y'all think? Did I miss? Y'all agree with this list? Um, did I miss anybody? Did I miss any? What is what DC character that hasn't already had a movie or has had a movie but was not that good? Who would you love to see? What DC character would you love to see have their own movie? Uh, let me know. As always, drop me a comment in the comment box. I would love to hear hear what y'all have to think on this. Uh, hear what y'all had to say on this subject. I'd love to hear what you who y'all love to um, see in a DC movie. And um, I guess that's all for this week's edition, Mr. J's Geek Corner. As always, um, drop me a comment in the comment box. Um, y'all have any comments about the show? Um, like, subscribe, tell all your friends. Uh, if y'all have any ideas about any subjects y'all want to hear me, y'all want to hear me talk about on the show, um, drop me a comment in the comment box. I'm always looking for fresh new ideas and subjects to talk about on here. Drop me a comment, and I would love to hear from you. You never know when it may be made to episode of Mr. J's Geek Corner. Uh, drop me a comment in the comment box. I would love to hear hear from you and love to hear your ideas. And I'll see y'all next time.